fellow fangirl here, and, um, welcome to Cooking Simulator. Today I'm going to be playing the career mode, and I don't know why the game's not, there we go, I was about to say I don't know why the game's not turning on, but it is. <clears throat> so, I'm going to be doing the career mode of Cooking Simulator and just trying to do well, basically. I've done the tutorial already, uh, just because it was rather long and it, and it consisted of me being quiet a lot of the time. Career mode, here we go. That was an interesting, uh, little <laughs> music clip there. Hello, kitchen! So yeah, I did the tutorial, but I'll roughly explain it here. I'm on PC, so you click the left mouse button for most actions. Uh, you can pick up multiple food items with plates. There are different recipes that I'm meant to be making. And I should probably run around and grab everything that's needed of me. So we got a pan. We're probably going to need a pot too. We're going to need... A spatula, probably. So where would we find that? Uh... Give me a moment, we're gonna wander around and attempt to find there's a tray, that's nice, but where... Where is the spatula? <laughs> found it. We'll put this over here too. I'm just putting all of the things that I probably need in in one place. Okay, I think preparation phase is done. I probably forgot something, but let's just go. What is our first recipe? Salmon and boiled potatoes. Okay. Take salmon fillet from the refrigerator. Why am I not moving too quickly? Okay. Put that into the pan. And then we're going to need... Salt and black pepper. And then we need sunflower oil too. So let's grab the salt and the pepper real quickly. Salt... So how many grams of salt? 5G. One, two, three, four, five. And then let's grab the pepper. One, two, three, four, five. And then we're gonna need sunflower oil. And how much sunflower oil do we need? Excuse me, sorry. <laughs> uh, where's sunflower oil here? So we need to do. Let's do this. Number one without making a mess, and number two without. Oh, I did twelve instead of ten. My bad. So I'm assuming we now put this on the stove. Five, four, sixty seconds each side. See, I knew I was going to need that, uh... That spatula. Speaking of which, where is it? There. Okay, we're good. Let's grab a plate while we're... Uh, 
edit because we're going to need to put this on a plate when we're done. In the meantime, we should probably worry about the boiled potatoes. We need to add water to our pot, so let's do that real quick. Oop. We need to turn the water on first. There we go. Turn that off. Now, how much potato do we need? We need... Oh! Okay, lovely. We need to now flip that over. Okay, can you shut up for a second? Let's turn this off so we can flip it over efficiently without screwing up. Alright, here we go. And we... We flip. Kinda! <laughs> Let's try that again. We flip. That was much better. Now we do 60 seconds on the other side. So one minute, go. And in the meantime, how many potatoes do we need? We need 300 G. 300 grams of potato. And how how much is each potato then? Oh, so we just need one, two, three. Perfect. And we need 20 grams of salt. That is a lot of salt. There we go. And now we're going to boil that for 120 seconds, which I believe is two minutes. I might be completely wrong about that, but I think that's what it is. Okay, is this almost done? There we go, that's done. So let's turn that off. Perfect. Now we gotta set this for 120 seconds, which I believe is two minutes. I'm hoping I'm right about that, otherwise I'm gonna burn these potatoes. And then we want to transfer those onto a plate and serve them hot. And now we patiently wait for it to be done. <laughs> I kind of, I didn't coordinate everything perfectly, but you know what? That's fine. We can make it work. We can, we can do stuff. One minute, ten seconds remaining. Is there anything I can do while we wait? Not really. But yeah, the reason I didn't film the tutorial is because often during tutorials I am very quiet as I try to kind of grasp the game's mechanics in my head. And I just didn't think it would be fun for you guys to see me be quiet for a long time. So instead I just decided to, uh, to just skip straight to gameplay where I kind of know what I'm doing at this point. I say kind of, because it looks like I burnt the salmon a little bit, which is a little bit embarrassing, but that's okay. Potato. Potato is almost done. Five, four, three, two, one, and we're done. I'm going to turn that off, and then... I'm probably going to need to dump the liquid out so it's 
just the potato, so can I? No, I can't do that? Hmm. Well. Okay, on the plate. Perfect. Now we pick up the plate and we be very careful not to let the potatoes roll off before we deliver it. Perfect. How did I do? Three stars. Not fantastic. Okay, we should probably... Oh, never mind. Tomato soup. Okay, what do we need for tomato soup? We need a lot of stuff. We need chicken broth, which we have. Do we have chicken broth? If so, then, then where is the chicken broth? Oh! Guys, I found the chicken broth. It's in, it's in the refrigerator. That makes more sense. Uh, how much do we need again? 700. Okay. Hoping that's not going to spell out because the bowls that I mean, the pot is kind of at a slant. 600... And... 7. Perfect. Now we need to grab stuff like tomatoes. So we need... Tomato... No, onion 120. Okay, sure. So... You just want one. And for these, we need nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Lovely. Lots of tomatoes. I like how we're just putting whole tomatoes in the soup instead of actually cutting them up. Um, <laughs> then we need salt, black pepper, and cayenne pepper. Not something I've grabbed yet, but I'll get it in a second. So salts, we need 12G. Or 12 grams. I don't know why I keep saying G. For this, we need 12 as well. And then for the cayenne, we need 6G. So let's go and grab... <laughs> Keep saying G. <laughs> Six grams. So let's go and grab. One, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. And now what do we do? Boil for 60 seconds. And then we need to blend it. So let's go ahead and put this on. Put the timer on for one minute. And. Turn that on to start boiling it. And in the meantime, we should grab the sour cream and get the blender already. And probably the bowl as well. So far, I've not made a mess, which is pretty good. Considering the fact that in the tutorial, I made the biggest mess in the world ever. There's the deep plate. Put that there for now. Or no, I should actually put it over here because it's probably where I'm going to be serving it, right? Or uh, not serving it, putting it into the bowl to be served. And it's done. See, see how I coordinate things. See how I'm a pro at this. Oh, it's just all going to go downhill as I try to transfer it to the blender. It 
See, I already made a mess. I've dropped all of the tomatoes. Or, not all the tomatoes. I dropped three of them. Can I pick them up and... Oh, no! Okay, let's... There we go. Put them in the pot and then try and re-put them into the, into the blender. That was better. Now we take the blender, we put it on top of the thing... And then how much sour cream do we need to put in there? 115 milliliters. Okay. Or milligram. I honestly don't know what it is. Oh, just realized I need to take it off before I add the sour cream. Perfect. Now we're going to need to very carefully add a decent amount of this to the bowl without spilling it. See, look, I made a mess already. Oh, I can take a picture. But no, we're just gonna... Oh, I got five stars! Hooray! I guess my signature dish is now tomato soup. Lovely. Uh, I made a mess. Oh, we should probably... Uh, no, no, you know what? Never mind, we'll toss that out later. Okay, we need to make some big trout. So let's go find the trout. Nope, oh, open the thing, please. Thank you. Is this trout? Yay, it is trout. Yay, we're going to put it on the baking tray because obviously we're going to bake it. So, you know. So season with what? Season with black pepper, thyme, and dill. So let's uh, take the black pepper here, and I forgot to check how much we needed. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Then we're going to need to grab the other stuff. And I will be putting all of this back where it belongs when we're done. I just can't be bothered to clean up right now. Oops. <laughs> Excuse me, car. Why are you honking so much? What is... What is your problem? <laughs> Perfect. Now what happens? bake for 90 seconds and then season with horseradish and then transform to plate. Okay, so let's go ahead and put that in there, plate, please. There we go. Good. Now we set the timer for 90 seconds. Couldn't do math very well there. And then... Cut lemon into quarters and then serve on a plate and then garnish with pars parsley leaves. Uh, but first we should probably grab a plate to put everything on. I'm gonna grab the plate. Then I'm gonna use the plate to pick up the lemon. Aren't I smart? Okay, let's put the lemon... On to the cutting board. Now we put the plate down there. Let's move this. Let's move everything. And then let's... We need to cut the lemon into quarters. So... We gotta do...
Perfect. And now we garnish with we would garnish with parsley leaves, which I don't know where they are, so let's go look for them while we Never mind. The timer is the most annoying sound in the world, but I'm pretty sure that's the point. So let's put the trout on the plate. Perfection right there. Perfection. Uh, can I put this back here? There we go, we're good. Okay, now we need to put some lemon slices on here, like that. <laughs> Just toss it on there, and like that. Lovely! Fantastic! And now all we need to do is find where the parsley leaves are. Which, frankly, I don't know. Where are the dried parsley leaves? Do I need to buy them? Probably do, let's see. Oop. No, I was trying to... I was trying to buy things. But I just picked up the box instead. I'm very confused as to where the dried parsley leaves are. Hmm. I keep thinking that this is a parsley plant. It is not. That is not a parsley plant by any stretch of the imagination. Well, I think we're just going to have to, um... Just gonna go ahead and serve this because I clearly cannot find the parsley leaves. They're probably in plain sight and I can't see them, but oh well. Oop. Why can't I move? There we go. Couldn't move for a second there, but let's serve the dish. Almost five stars, probably just because I didn't put the parsley leaves on it. Okay, time to clean up. So we're going to need to locate a sponge. To go and clean everything up. Here's a sponge. Let's buy a sponge. And then let's use it to clean this mess that I made here. Perfect! See, there you go. Now we need to dump out that. And then we need to put everything back. And then I think I'm going to end this episode once I've cleaned everything up. Because we've just about run out of time. Excuse excuse my constant little hiccups there. Why can I not put this back? Okay, you know what? We're just going to put it on one of the shelves. It can go there. Lovely. It can go there. Um, 
And we gotta put all the spices back. <coughs> Excuse that as well. <laughs> I'm okay. I assure you I'm okay. <laughs> Everything's fine. <laughs> Whoa, wipe through that one way back there. And let's get the salt. And whatever this is, dill. Well, let's see. Is there anything else that we need to clean up? Nope, it looks like we're all good. So I think that's going to be the end of this episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!